Welcome to Headline Simsbury, I'm Karen Hanville. The annual Hometown Hero Awards ceremony will be held on Monday, June 10th at 5 p.m. in the main meeting room at Town Hall, just prior to the Board of Selectmen meeting. This award is presented to nominated town residents who have gone above and beyond in their service to the community. The Simsbury Police Department maintains a medication drop box in the lobby of the police department, which is available for disposal of expired or unwanted medications 24 hours a day. Approximately 1,400 pounds of medications have been collected in just the last year, keeping them out of the waste stream, water system, or the hands of children. Simsbury Public Schools will dispose of special education records of students who graduated in 2012. Any individual who would like to claim his or her special education records before they are disposed of should call 860-658-3873 before June 14th. The Connecticut Art Education Association has chosen for Simsbury School students to have their artwork on display at the Legislative Office Building in Hartford. 125 pieces of artwork were collected from students in grades K through 12 throughout Connecticut for legislators and their staff to select from. 50 pieces were chosen to be framed, hung, and on display in various committee rooms for the year before being returned fully framed with a letter of appreciation from a legislator. Henry James School 8th grader Aaron Harris contributed a portrait of an owl, and 7th grader Reese Turner was selected for a piece entitled Animal Tangle. Simsbury High School sophomore Georgia Pyro's black and white discarded idea was selected and Terrafield School kindergartner Brielle Demore Chase's vivid painting Still Life was selected. The Art Education's Advocacy Chair, Paul Kulikowski, congratulated the Simsbury art teachers for their students' achievement, noting that this year the competition was especially fierce. High school students are gearing up for graduation, but there are less independent students who are not ready to enter the workforce or go off to college. To bridge this gap, there are unique programs like Simsbury High School's STEP program, Supported Training and Employment Program for ages 7 to 21, which connects with community businesses that offer internships to students who receive special services. These job experiences give students an opportunity to learn about a business and the people who work there, as well as learn some real-world job skills. The STEP program job coaches and staff held an appreciation reception at Simsbury High School for these businesses to say thank you for their generous support over the year. A highlight of the event was students delivering presentations about their internship experience and evidence of their increasing self-confidence, independence, and strides that they made through their work experience with these community partners. In the classroom, STEP teaches practical skills like doing laundry, hygiene, and nutrition. But there are many social or interpersonal skills that students learn during their internships. Outside the classroom, the work encourages personal growth in such areas as focusing, stamina, taking initiative, following directions, and more, all of which prepare them for life. Sarah Ray is here with What's Going On at the Library. Hello, everyone. I'm Sarah Ray, Teen Services Librarian at the Simsbury Public Library. I'd like to share with you some upcoming activities we have planned for students in middle and high school. Our summer program theme this year is a community of readers, and we kick off the celebration on June 17th with the community summer party. Join us from 4 to 7 p.m. for free hot dogs and entertainment for all ages. This year, we have special community guests from the police department, parks and recreation, and the Performing Arts Center. One of the biggest components of my job over the summer is coordinating teen volunteer opportunities. If you are entering grades 7 through 12, fill out an application to help us with programs, shelving books, or preparing large-scale projects. 
Now I'd like to share with you some of my favorite highlights for our summer program. Programs may have limited space available and registration is open on our website's event calendar. Calling all book lovers. Discover the hottest reads of the summer and receive advanced readers' copies of fall publications at our infamous Book Bonanza event on June 21st. Everyone who attended last year left with a tote bag and at least 15 books. This is a great way to kick off your love of summer reading. And there will be pizza. We have Trivia Tuesday happening on select Tuesdays that will test your knowledge of Star Trek, Stranger Things, Doctor Who, and Star Wars. Our teen advisory board members are organizing the questions and winners will receive an out of this world trophy as a prize. We also welcome back some favorite presenters. CT Improv Theater for teen improv workshops. You can join Matt of Freelunch Studios to learn how to draw your own comics. Simsbury Area Libraries and the Hillstead Museum are partnering to offer you a program series based on Elizabeth Acevedo's book, The Poet X. Held at the museum, join us for a book discussion on July 24th, Poetry Slam on August 7th, and meet the author at the Young Poets Day of the Sunken Garden Poetry Festival on August 11th. Need a copy of the book? Find a print version on display in the teen space or download an ebook or a downloadable audiobook through one of our many free app resources. This is just a glimpse of what we have going on at the library this summer. For more information on these programs and others, visit our website at simsburylibrary.info. You can also find us on social media, like our Facebook page and follow our Instagram accounts. On Friday, June 28th, from 12.30 to 3 p.m., the Senior Center and the Library are offering a free movie, the 1958 release of The Blob. Ice cream sundaes will be served in the library's program room. You'll need to reserve your seat by calling the Senior Center at 658-3273. Mary Doyle Clark is here with this week's Senior Center update. Hi. I'm Mary Doyle Clark, and here's what's going on at the Simsbury Senior Center. The Simsbury Senior Center and Simsbury Public Library invite you to a summer reading community party from 4 to 7 p.m. Monday, June 17th on the library grounds. The festivities will include live music, a picnic style dinner, and other indoor and outdoor activities. The event is a multi-generational kickoff to this year's summer reading program, themed A Community of Readers. You will have an opportunity to sign up for the town-wide reading program and enter for a chance to win great prizes. To sign up for this free event, contact the Senior Center. The Senior Center is sponsoring a coach bus trip to Mohegan Sun Casino on Tuesday, June 25th. It will depart from Simsbury at 8.30 a.m. and return approximately 5 p.m. The cost is $27 and includes round trip deluxe motor coach transportation, a $15 meal voucher, and a $15 bet. Sign up for this trip through the Senior Center. Join us for ice cream sundaes and a movie on Friday, June 28th at the Simsbury Library. The event begins at 12.30 p.m. with ice cream sundaes and continues with the 1958 sci-fi classic, The Blob. The film, starring Steve McQueen, follows teenager Steve and his best girl Jane as they try to protect their hometown from a gelatinous alien life form that engulfs everything it touches. This free program is co-sponsored by the Simsbury Senior Center and the Public Library. You may register at either location. The Simsbury Senior Center is located at 754 Hot Meadow Street in the Eno Memorial Hall building. Our hours are Mondays, 8.30 a.m. to 7 p.m., Tuesday through Thursday, 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m., and Fridays, 8.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. Call us at 860-658-3273 for additional information or go to our website. Thanks for watching. See you at the Senior Center. On Monday, June 10th, you'll have an opportunity to hear about three therapy dogs and learn about the amazing healing powers they have. 
The program will be at the Simsbury Public Library from 6 to 7 p.m. in the library's program room. And at the end of the presentation, you can meet Raven, James, and Deja. Please register for this program at the library or the Senior Center. On Wednesday, there's a free ongoing series of tutoring lessons for cell phone and tablet users at the Senior Center. You can call the Senior Center for your 45-minute appointment. In the midst of the Great Depression, the Hartford Symphony Orchestra was born, becoming a bright spot in a bleak environment. The story of how the HSO grew from humble beginnings to becoming a vibrant regional treasure is the focus of Take Note, 75 Years of the Hartford Symphony Orchestra, a new exhibit at the Connecticut Historical Society. The exhibit runs through August 10th. The exhibit includes materials that tell the story of the people who came together to form the HSO, its musicians, music directors, and conductors. It includes historic concert programs, photography, and other items, highlighting key moments in the HSO's history. Visit the Connecticut Historical Society at 1 Elizabeth Street in Hartford. This year's Talcott Mountain Music Festival season kicks off on Friday, June 28th at 7.30 p.m. with Dancing in the Street, the music of Motown, with smash hits made famous by artists like Marvin Gaye, The Four Tops, The Temptations, and Stevie Wonder. The annual Celebrate America concert on Friday, July 5th, with rain date of Saturday, July 6th, will feature the Asylum Hill Congregational Church Choir and favorite patriotic tunes with fireworks following the concert. Come Fly With Me, celebrating the music of Frank Sinatra, will be on July 12th, featuring vocalist Rob Zapula with selections from every decade of Sinatra. On July 19th, relax with Tchaikovsky at Twilight, with selections from some of Tchaikovsky's greatest works, Swan Lake and Sleeping Beauty. The final concert on Friday, July 26th, is the music of Elton John, with the HSO joined by vocalists and a rock band, presenting an evening of hits from your song to the circle of life. Each concert features the family activity tent, open to all ticket holders from 6 to 7.15, with free activities including music-themed art projects and HSO's popular Instrument Discovery Lab. Free shuttle service runs from Henry James Middle School beginning at 5.30 on concert evenings. Complete information for the festival can be found at hartfordsymphony.org. The Chamber Music Masterwork Series will perform at Eno Memorial Hall on Monday, June 10th at 7.30 p.m. The program includes the Clara Piano Trio and Rising Young Artists Heart Community Division Chamber Groups. Admission is free with a $20 suggested donation. For more information, you can call 860-205-6290. The Connecticut State Police and Survive the Drive Defensive Driver Training Clinic will offer defensive driving techniques on Friday, June 28th at Lime Rock Park in Lakeville. The clinic offers strategies with performing crash avoidance maneuvers that could save lives. Register online at survivethedrive.org. Survive the Drive is an independent, not-for-profit educational resource that provides risk awareness presentations and hands-on defensive driver training. Join the Farmington Valley Symphony Orchestra on Sunday, June 9th at 6 p.m. for their final concert of the season. Picnic before the concert on the lawn of the First Church in Farmington, and then hear selections from the music of John Williams, including highlights of Jurassic Park, Star Wars, E.T., Harry Potter, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and Hook. Bring lawn chairs and blankets and a picnic for this casual venue. Children 17 and under get in for free. For more information or to purchase tickets, go to their website, fvso.org. Todd Myers is here to tell you about the Simsbury Volunteer Fire Department's upcoming barbecue. 
Okay. So as part of the 75th anniversary celebration of the Simsbury Volunteer Fire Company, we wanted to invite everyone to a good old-fashioned fire department chicken barbecue being held June 29th, 2019 at Weetog Park here in Simsbury, which is behind the Weetog Firehouse. The event should start about 4 p.m. We hope to have a, uh, an outstanding menu for you, a good old-fashioned chicken barbecue. Uh, we hope to have some traditional carnival games from years past and some local bands for your entertainment. It should be a very uh, exciting evening. It's all part of the 75th anniversary of the Simsbury Volunteer Fire Company, which is an event we're celebrating all year long. Uh, this is just one of many events to take part in as the year progresses. Uh, the date itself, June 29th, is a very important date for us as an organization because this is the official formation of the Simsbury Volunteer Fire Company. 75 years ago, in 1944, June 29th was the official first day of the Simsbury Volunteer Fire Company, and we're excited to be able to have this event on the actual anniversary of the formation of the Volunteer Fire Company, which was a, a major milestone for not only a lot of members of our organization, but as well for the town of Simsbury itself. So if you can come out and visit us on June 29th, about 4 p.m. at Weetog Park, we hope to have a, a very good event for everyone. Uh, there will be advanced ticket sales. We'll also have some tickets available at the door. And you can see more about this event at our website, simsrayfire.org, as well as our Facebook page, Simsray Volunteer Fire Company. In addition, we have if anyone has any questions, please feel free to email us at 75 years at simsrayfd.org. That's the number 75 plus years at simsrayfd.org. And we'll get back to anyone that has any questions about the event or any other events we might be having throughout the year. Thank you. The Second Chance Shop located at 12 Station Street is a high-end boutique style thrift store run by volunteers from the Simsbury Auxiliary of the Village for Families and Children. The store is a dynamic, ever-changing shop containing thousands of pieces of clothing and accessories, household and home decor items and books. New merchandise is added daily and everything is priced to sell and features impromptu sales. Find everything you need for parties, vacations, gifts, gardening, and housewares, all at 50% off on Friday and Saturday, June 28th and 29th. Regular store hours are Monday through Friday from 10 to 4 and Saturday, 9.30 to 3.30 and donations are always welcome during regular hours. There are many summer programs and camps being offered by the Simsbury Parks and Recreation Department from swimming lessons to tennis, basketball for girls and boys, crew, fencing, and much more. You'll also find enrichment camps like Legos, Playhouse, Mad Science, Art Ventures, and even a wicked cool medical school camp. There's also Junior Lifeguard Academy, which is a four-day program designed for 10 to 14-year-olds. Most programs and camps will begin just after school is out. Check out what's available online at simsburyrec.com. Here's Dara with another The Simon Foundation Pet Spotlight. Hi, it's Dara again with this week's Pet Spotlight. I'm at the Simon Foundation in Bloomfield, Connecticut. Did you know that all of our pets are spayed or neutered, microchipped, vaccinated, and have a behavior assessment done before adoption? We wanna be sure that you and your pet have a happy, healthy start to your life together. I've got three great dogs to show you. Meet May. May is a 14-year-old yellow lab. You would never guess her age due to her playful demeanor and energy. May weighs about 78 pounds. She was surrendered with her two sisters when her owner got sick. May is dog selective and she's housebroken, but will need a refresher. She's looking for a home with no cats and with teenage kids. She's a happy girl who likes slow walks and sofa naps. She crates easily. And this delightful girl is Martha. Martha is May's sister. She's a darling 15-year-old chocolate lab. Martha weighs 70 pounds. She's housebroken, but she could also use a refresher. Martha would do best in a home with no cats. She's the sweetest girl out there. Martha loves to be petted and doted upon. She'd make a great pet for someone who likes short daily walks and naps. She's a friendly girl with so much love to give. This striking fellow is Reggie. Reggie is a one-year-old shepherd hound mix with a beautiful brindle coat. 
He's looking for a home with no cats and with children over the age of 12. Reggie may be dog selective. He is very playful. Reggie completed his basic obedience class and really enjoys playing on agility equipment. He is so smart and eager to please. Reggie is treat motivated and responds well to positive reinforcement. If you like hiking or running, Reggie is your kind of dog. If any of these pets look like a good fit for your family, go to the simonfoundation.org and fill out an application to adopt. Thanks a lot. We hope you enjoy this program and we invite your feedback. Contact SCTV at 658-1720 or email us at simtv at yahoo.com. If you're interested in volunteering or have questions, we invite you to visit us in the lower level of Eno Memorial Hall. If you have something to say, any Simsbury resident can produce non-commercial programming for free. If you missed a town meeting or a program on the air, check out our website, simsburytv.org. I'm Karen Hanville, and we are SCTV, your town, your schools, your government. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.